like artists. I like talking with artists. I like talking with people. I like exchanging ideas. I like seeing things as they happen. I like figure, fumbling my way through and figuring it out as I go. Okay. So, Then leading from that, mm -hmm. say I'm an artist and I suddenly decide that I have my heart set on getting into this museum by hook or by crook. Yeah. What could you tell me would be the... I would say... Lose your illusion. <laughs> well, no, that's a very flippant and dumb thing to say. It's not. That's not the idea. The idea is, um, I think that the focus, as a curator in an institution, my number one concern of uh, my number one concern is with the quality of the work. And I would say, if you absolutely want to show here, work on your work. Work on your work. Work on, make your work good. Make your work the best that you can make it. Make it, like, really work hard. Um, and, 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 um, just make sure I get an invitation to the shows. <laughs> that I know that it's, you know, that's, and put, put somebody, anybody on the, and on the, like, not, like, anybody on the curatorial staff on your mailing list. I mean, it's, it sounds kind of lame, but I mean, there is no, there is no huge secret. Um, it's not like a secret handshake and so on and so forth. It's a sort of, if the work corresponds to the affinities of the curator and the, and the, and the, and the sort of ideas that the curator feels coincides with what the institution wants to bring forward and convinces the institution to go forward with those ideas, it's like, okay, great. So how, how does your work as an artist fit into that? And maybe it doesn't now, maybe it will in 10, maybe it will in 20, maybe it will in 30 years. When we're working, when we're doing groundwork, this is the thing, and especially with a triennial. So you look at, your, we're doing studios, uh, studio visits from students, MFA students, all the way to like senior artists. Senior artists that are well represented within the collections already or in other collections. So you're looking at that. And so you're asking a question, you're like, okay, where is the work at now? Where is the artist at now? And um, does this does this mean is this a good fit in a triennial? In this triennial, is it a good fit? Maybe in the next triennial, although who knows? Depends what happens in the next three years. Or is it a group thematic group show coming up? Is it a solo show? Is it a solo show of recent work? Is it a, is, should we wait for mid-career because we feel that the, the work is stronger in a large body as opposed to a smaller project room or something? Or is it a full retrospective, um, like, of when you're dealing with older artists? It's hard to tell an, an MFA student that we're, we're going to wait for you to come back and see us in 40 years. No, that's ridiculous. But, I mean, it's just the idea, like, depending on, on the, the level that an artist is at in Okay, they still remember everybody's still a Quebec artist. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Like, These are all local artists. <laughs> yeah, so it's this, it's this idea that like, how do you attest to the local community? Yeah. It's through these different modes. When we do group shows, we want to have, we want to have local artists that are engaging with ideas that we feel have resonance uh, mm -hmm. around the world. So that's why you bring people like Canadian, Quebec, and international artists together in, in thematic shows. So these are the questions that you kind of so it's kind of out of out of the artist's hands in a certain way. In another way, of course, there's all these there's a lot of strategizing and you know networking and stuff like that is self promotion. Mm -hmm. That's part of it that um, we're completely impervious to. Okay. <laughs> cool. At which point, I've gone through all my questions. Yes. And I, the way that I normally end off all my interviews, is anything that I haven't asked that you feel like can't feel that, that you needs should be answered, needs to be answered, or anything that I should um, know that you haven't said. Um, we're all really nice people. That's <laughs> we're. Um, I don't know. There's something that needs to be said that care that hasn't been said. It would be the. There are three things that the museum is really well known for, and that I think that are probably the most important aspects, some of the most important aspects. Sometimes artists get really annoyed when I say that stuff. Um, we pay our uh, educators, the people that are guides, the people who give the tours on Wednesday nights for free and so on and so on. 
they're, they're, they're paid. They're paid not only to give the tour, they're paid to read about the art. They get reading hours. This is a huge, huge um, advantage to this institution, that we believe in mediation to the point where um, the people that are working as educators sometimes know as much, if not more so, on a given topic than the curators who put the show together. And um, they're great. That's a really that's a that's kind of a really amazing part of this institution is that that's given that's a service that we offer to the public educated people that are showing the art to the people and they can answer the questions at any level from four year olds to seniors uh, to the initi uninitiated to the to the to the insider they can answer in dialogue with them to to pretty good level like at a, at a, at a normal level. Um, the other aspect that we have that's great is the media tech, which is kind of Montreal's best kept secret in a way, because it's not nearly as um, prevalent in people's minds as it should be. It is a resource that is just amazing. There's magazines from around the English and French speaking art worlds, like, just, and a tremendous amount of resources, like exhibition catalogs and, and artists files on, on uh, hundreds of artists, local. And international thousands. What's that? Thousands. Yeah, thousands. It's it's just, it's a huge resource. It really is, and it's and it's and it's kind of uh, it's it's not put forward as much as, as 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 it could be, and it's not present because it's it's our own fault. It's not present in people's minds because it's not made present. I mean, it's, it's it's a huge issue, um, which shows kind of the, the the big small institution. This idea we're a big institution, but we're small in certain regards because we can't get the word out as efficiently as we as we probably should. On certain aspects of what we do, the third element we have is the quality of our presentations. The work when we show work here, we should, we really we believe in museum standards that mean something, so that when you're in the ex when you're experiencing the show, you're experiencing the show in optimal conditions. Sometimes it's kind of strange for the um, the, the more senior staff that are working in technical, like no, no, it's supposed to look like crap. <laughs> that's part of the work, and that's a. That's a that's part of it as well, and and uh, they're sort of, but we will show the thing that's supposed to look like crap in the best way that it's supposed to look like crap. in the crappiest possible in the crappiest way. possible way. Mm -hmm. So these are three kind of these are three things that we that the museum really prides itself on, and that make it kind of different than other venues mm -hmm. that that are just shown in, and that we 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 work really hard in, in maintaining um, things that need to be improved or we wish we could make better books, like more expensive looking books, and get them, publish more of them, and get them widely, more widely distributed, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's that's just a, that's a huge constraint on us, is, is how tight that budget is, and the miracles that we, with 10 grand, we put out a, a thousand books of uh, Trisha Middleton, you know, and that looks like, that really testifies to her show, and gives her something to, to shop around, that's not a, that's not a flyer, uh, that has an essay in it, and so on. So that's that's and uh, I guess that's that's basically cool. That's basically it. At which point, thank you very very much. Thank you.